quick demonstration of this thing that I've, I was talking a lot about. Um, so I'm going to open up VS Code. And you can try to follow along with me, but I'm kind of running out of time here. So just maybe just watch what I'm going to do, and then um, you'll have the screen recording. And we're certainly going to revisit this. So I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code. And we're not going to look at that. Um, I'm going to go File, New File. I'm going to pick a Python file. OK. Now, again, I'm doing this just as a quick um, demo. So we have to make sure Python's installed. But if you look, when you do Python, take a look when I move my mouse over, over those words at the bottom right. Look what it's showing you. C program files, ArcGIS, Pro, Bin, Python, Environments, ArcGIS Pro, PY3, Python, EXE. Okay? If you're wondering what the heck that all is, um, one of the basic things with Python is the ability to pull in different libraries of functionality. So if you have ArcGIS Pro on your machine, you can point, and, and ArcGIS Pro comes with its own installation of Python. And then the main library that we'll talk more about in the semester is called ArcPy. Um, uh, you can then use VS Code to write code against ArcPy. And nowadays, you can use ChatGPT to do it, right? So let me fire off this prompt. And um, let me... Uh, I tested this this morning, and even with my typos, it got it right. There's typos in here because I did it quickly. All right. So, but here's like, can you guys see that? Here's like when I talk about you need to know what to ask of ChatGPT. So first off, you probably would need to know about, you need to know, you know, you need to know you want a shape file. You know, you want, you need to, you know, you would need to know, you know, you need to know about vector. I want a point shape file. And I want it set to that map projection. Then I need to understand the structure of with attribute with vector. So I want a text field. And this is what I want to call it. Then here, then in this case, I told it what I want to put inside of the shape file. By the way, I didn't really talk about a shape file. A shape file is a data format that ArcGIS Pro can use. Um, I can't remember if in here. Yeah, I didn't really get into that kind of detail, but in our demo, I gave you shape files. Shape files are used for vector data sets. So that's, if you were to right click and um, Go to properties, source, it's a shape file, right? Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I told it to add five features. And then take the name of the feature. In this case, the features are gonna be the top five populated cities in New York. And then I wanted to, you know, use latitude, longitude values. There's map projections and coordinates populate it with the name, and then store it in the C temp directory, okay? So let's, let me see if I, you know, if I can pull this off. So now normally something like that, that'd be a whole entire class of me sitting here going through, and here's how we write this, here's how we write that. But now with our magic tools we have, um, Okay, there it comes. 
So again, if you've never seen Python, it's fine. Those of you familiar with Python, you'll recognize some of the... So what you're going to hopefully learn from me in this class is just to understand kind of what's going on in here, right? So you have to import the ArcPy library, which I've already covered. You're importing OS, which is a standard Python thing. And then it's doing everything I asked it to do. It's it's, it's, it knows about ArcPy, which is a, a Python library, which we'll even talk about that. It creates the field. It knew to find the cities. It writes it and gives me some things. So then what I do, I copy that. I go over here to my Python file, paste it in. You know, and if I, I feel like sort of magician here, like here's the C temp directory. And um, if I get it to run. I may go a few minutes over in class. If it's really critical, you have to leave right at 12.15. Feel free to leave, but I'm almost done with what I wanted to do. Shapefile created at C temp, top five cities. I mean, I didn't even tell it gave it a name. Here's what a shapefile looks like behind the scenes. Right? Um, if I go back to ArcMap and I'll take from C temp and just kind of drag that right in there. And then do a um, zoom to layer. It worked there. I mean, they might be a little hard to see. Um, I make them just some big red circles. Okay. That is a vector point shapefile created with Python code using a geospatial library that all I did, I used, I used the generative AI to generate it. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.